What's up you guys, Avery here, wanted to bring you guys a deck profile for the April 2017 format of Zodiac, and the deck really did take a hit with the ban list. Um, there are still some two-card combos and one-card combos that you can do, um, a la Terra Top. Um, two-card combos you can do with, like, say, Rat Pierre or Barrage that can lead into Borbo and Broad Bull and other fun stuff like that. So, if you guys are not subscribed already, I highly suggest that you subscribe for some fantastic content. And if you have not already seen my combo video of me playing ZDX, be sure to check that on my channel as well. I know that I was ranting on uh, the ban list and me losing over $700 on Zodiac a couple days ago, and so I just want to take a couple days to just chill out and kind of just clear my mind and think about the ban list and all that fun stuff. And um, I'm ready to get back to making videos and, you know, not just rant on my lost profit. I know some of you guys like the video and other, other of you guys did not, so I do apologize for that for those of you who did not like it, but it was something I needed to get off my chest, and, you know, hopefully you guys will be understanding of that. So... Let's go ahead and get into this deck profile. Let's just go ahead and get the staples out of the way. We're playing Triple Ghost Ogre because we can't play one max C. One max C to me is this garbage. Like, I don't want to just hopefully win because of one of. This is my proxy for Luna Light Black Sheep. Um, so this is actually supposed to be Luna Light Black Sheep. I am playing the Fusion Substitute and Black Sheep Engine. Then we're playing three Whiptail, two Thoroughblade, and two Rat Pier because it's at two because Konami sucks. <laughs> Then the one Terra Top, or the one Tacky Tumberg and the Triple Terra Top. Always get those two mixed up. We're still playing the Kaiju Engine. I paid money for the Kaiju Engine, so I still want to play it, and I do just overall like it. <laughs> so, four Kaijus. And then for the spells, we're playing three Barrage, three Tenki. We did up it from two Twin Twister to three, uh, and I really do like that number. And then we're playing one Raigeki and two Kaiju Slumber. I, I took out a Kaiju Slumber for the Raigeki in it. It still puts in work. And then we're playing uh, the Fusion Substitute. This is my proxy for Fusion Substitute. <laughs> then we're playing one Combo, three D Barrier, three Strike, and the Warning, which is pretty standard. Um, not much to change there in the trap lineup. You always want to be able to have good stun cards in your main deck. Then for the extra deck, we have Borbo, double Broadbull. Most of the combos now involve going into Borbo, then Broadbull instead of Borbo, then Tiger. Uh, but we're still playing two Tiger and the two Dryden. Then we're playing the one of Invoker, the one Totem Bird, the two Emerald, Samurai, Lightning, Utopia. And then, of course, we're playing the Norden for the Fusion Substitute. Obviously, I'm not playing Instant Fusion, so once I bounce this back, the Fusion Substitute just kind of sits dead in my extra deck, which is fine. Um, I never run into an issue where I wish I had, you know, Instant Fusion. I feel that it can just clog a little bit too much. Uh, and then we're playing for the side deck. Three, Lancia. Three, Flying C. Two, My Body. Two, Chalice. Two anti spell, and then the three chain, the three chain disappearance in the mirror match. This is also my uh, regional list. I don't want to wait till after the regional to give you guys a deck profile, just because of the fact that I'm going to be selling this deck to the vendors um, at the end of the event. <clears throat> just because that you know Zoo has lost a lot of profit, so I want to be able to recruit recoup my losses as much as I can. Um, but it's still a fun deck to play. I will admit, like. I straight up hate the deck now because I loved playing it at full power. It was a lot of fun. Like, if you guys didn't watch my video from a couple days ago, um, then I'll just kind of say it here. You know, the, the part that I really liked about Zodiac the most was the fact that you could just vomit on the field, make a big-ass board, and be like, you know, come at me. And, you know, your opponent would have to try and get over that. And I really liked that um, interaction with the game. I know that a lot of people didn't, but it was just something that I really enjoyed. And with Rap here kind of going to two and kind of really putting the deck in check, it's obviously not as consistent, but it's also just like not as fun because then it's like, you know, you're having to rely on cards that you draw off the MRL or the Fusion Substitute Banishing to draw a second card. And it's like, if you don't draw well, then you're kind of screwed. And it's just, it's not as fun. It kind of just puts the player to disadvantage and punishes them for not being able to do a full-fledged combo. But it's whatever. I'm still going to play this at, at regionals, and even if I scrub out, I'm just going to go and sell my deck to the vendor and just hold on to the kaiju stuff. Um, because the kaiju stuff is still going to be very, very good going into Link Summoning format. So, with all this being said, if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like, rating, and a favorite. Be sure to hit that notification bell so that you are staying up to date with all of my uploads. I would greatly appreciate that. And uh, let me know in the comments below if there's anything you would change about this build. Um, again, I will be getting rid of it after the regional but still like to see what you guys would have to say for input in case i want to pick this deck back up thank you guys for watching and subscribe if you have not already